It's been a while since we uploaded a new video to the channel, so we thought it's high time to update everyone on what's been happening in the gunsmith shop here at Wyoming Gun Company. I've been very busy building rifles and have also earned new clients that have tuned into our channel since the launch of our series. So I'd just like to thank each and every one of you for watching and helping to spread the word, and especially those that have hired me for their rifle work. I hope you're still having success and enjoying them as much as I did building them. Some more exciting news. I have recently completed the Extreme Accuracy Institute one-on-one -on -one week-long precision rifle building school with none other than Mr. Gordy Gritters. For those that may not know Gordy Gritters, a name synonymous with extreme precision and championship winning rifles from all over the world. He now teaches his techniques in a group setting or in one-on-one -on -one private lessons tailored to the individual student's level of experience and what they wish to focus on. Mr. Gritters has garnered over 30 years of experience in the ultra-precision rifle world, including bench rest, hunting, and match rifles. I was able to spend a full week with Gordy here at Wyoming Gun Company in our gunsmithing shop. Assume nothing and check everything is a good way to sum up the week. I have utilized precision rifle building and accurizing techniques from legends like Greg Tannel, Fred Zeglin, Bob Pastor, Jim Borden, and of course, Gordy Gritters, by studying their literature and videos and having the luxury of experimenting with my own rifles before I started earning a reputation with customers. While I have had great success building new precision rifles or accurizing existing ones, I always strive to stay on the cutting edge using the best techniques and most current innovations when building precision rifles for our customers here at Wyoming Gun Company. Mr. Gritters has been a huge influence to me over the years the opportunity to pick his brain for a week was invaluable, and he made it quite enjoyable. First parts of this week-long training involved checking all of our machine equipment to verify everything is level and true from a gunsmithing standpoint, ensuring the most accurate and precise machining possible. We then focused on topics such as evaluating rifles for accuracy problems, where Gordy covered everything from simple to advanced ways to vastly improve even a factory rifle's potential accuracy and how to evaluate a barrel to determine if it's even capable of extreme accuracy before installing, reducing costs, frustrations, and wasted time. Action blueprinting. He had some techniques to share that will be very beneficial to the process. Epoxy sleeving the action as an alternative to sleeving the bolt. Extreme accuracy chambering. Machining the barrel's chamber completely square and straight to the bore and indexing or timing the action to the bore curvature using his method of dial chamber straight to bore, rather than centering on both ends as is traditionally used. Advanced bedding techniques, with not only stocks, but scope rails and rings as well. And we touched on custom reloading die making, using the same techniques and reamer utilized to cut the chamber, ensuring an exact match between a chamber and dies. So during the course of the week, we put together this rifle. It features a Remington 700 stainless steel ultra magnum action, a proof research carbon fiber Sendero contour barrel with a 1 and 9.4 twist. It sits in a Manners EH1A Elite Hunter stock with their MCS DBM Gen 2 mini chassis. The chassis will accept any AICS style box mag up to the maximum CIP length. It's also got a Holland's quarter inch recoil lug that was trued to the larger thread tenon diameter of the barrel, as well as a jewel trigger set to about a pound. A breakdown of the build of the rifle is as follows. First, the action was blueprinted. Very similarly to our blueprinting video, the receiver threads, lug abutments, and face were all true to the center line of the bolt bore raceway in the lathe using single point cutters. Then we worked on the bolt. A single sleeve in the rear was added and then we trued up all the critical contact surfaces, including the lugs, face, and nose. The bolt was also prepped for the addition of a Badger Ordnance M16 style extractor. Gordy then demonstrated his techniques of lapping the lugs of the bolt to the abutment surfaces inside the receiver with the trigger and firing pin assembly installed using diamond files and abrasive lapping compound. Once all this was done, we proceeded to take measurements from the freshly machined surfaces in order to determine all the dimensions for the barrel. The barrel was then fit and chambered. 
The Manor Stocks barrel channel required opening up for the Sendero barrel to fit properly free float. Barreled action and stock were prepped and then bedded together. We then checked bolt lug contact again after everything was put together and did a little fine tune lapping, just enough to achieve the best possible contact to account for minute changes from the barrel being now installed. The bolt was machined to accommodate the extractor, a second ejector, and a tactical bolt handle. The muzzle end of the barrel received an 11 degree target crown, three quarter by 24 threads, and a custom fit aluminum knurled thread protector. An added bonus to this rifle package includes custom neck sizer and cedar reloading dies made in-house from the same reamer used to chamber this barrel. The neck sizer includes two bushings and can accept any popular bushing by Hornady, Redding, Forrester, etc. Topped with a Leopold 20 MOA Picatinny scope base, this rifle is ready for long range precision hunting, effective for nearly any big game hunting on the planet. This rig weighs in at nine pounds, four ounces. Light enough to carry around, but with some mass to absorb recoil. That concludes this update video. We'd love to hear from more of you bench rest and PRS guys, so don't hesitate to leave a comment or get in touch.